Alright, and welcome back to Gaming Log. I'm Linus Vixi, and I'm back with a new game called The Park, which is a horror title. I'm not exactly sure uh, what's gonna happen in it. All I know is that you play a mother looking for uh, her son, and he's lost in an uh, amusement park or something. Um, and that's all I really know about it. I um, deliberately did not read about the game other than that. Then I saw a little video uh, behind the scenes uh, on how they made the game and everything. But that's all I really know about the game, so without further ado, let's just hit it. Hopefully there's no jump scares and shit, because I really hate that shit. Now I have gotten a, uh, a new machine, so uh, this will just be a startup video. Then I'll go through everything again, likely, or just make an entire new video. At least this is just like one more thing, so. Anyway, let's go. Heart and mind. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car, and go and ask information. So apparently it's a first person experience kind of thing. Not too sure, for some reason like... Like keyboard orientated? Nope. None of the buttons actually work right now, that's kind of fucking weird. That much is for sure. <laughs> Holy crap. I'll be back in a second. Alright, I fixed it. I don't know what the fuck that was. Apparently it didn't connect to the controller, nor the keyboard. Um, so yeah. It's a little bit goofy. Very slow. The, the, even the fucking frames are awful. So. Alright, so it is like a first person perspective game. You can even see your own boobs. Fuck yeah. Game of the year award already. All right. Attention patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees prepare the park to shut down. Don't tell me what to do. So yeah, I'm gonna continue this game on uh, my other computer when I get that set up. Right now I don't have an operation system on it or anything, so. Um, it will be more smoothly in the next part if I don't just decide to start all over again, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, we can save the port like a boss. Maybe you should stop taking those drugs, woman. Just saying. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. The fuck? Okay, so you can teleport and you're back at the... What the fuck? Why haven't they just kept it at first person perspective while you speak with people? Where are you going? This way, mommy. I'm just gonna check the, the car. Can you run by chance? No. Wait for mommy, Callum. Um. So I heard uh, this game has like a obviously like a vocal performance but the uh, the further in you get in the in the game the more panicked your character becomes uh, you know Cal, when you shout I told like you this. to wait in the car she's clearly on drugs 
So this is most likely inspired by uh, Silent Hills. Not Silent Hills, but Silent Hill. Um, which is cool, I guess. That was one of my favorite games once, horror games. Also, uh, the very first horror game that really got to me, because there was like, what, uh, 10 or 12 years old when I played it, when it came out for PlayStation. I was, uh, that's some tough shit, man, gotta say. The graphics may have been awful back then, but, you There's know. something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. We don't give a shit. Side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, I would. the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Welcome to hell. Come on. Did I tell you? Stop taking those fucking pills. And she's not finding this weird. Callum, where are you going? I'm just. What the fuck, woman? Is she a drug addict, a drug addict or something? God. The park. What happened here? It's your imagination, woman. You're on drugs. Tuckle. Okay, I'll just stay walking for no reason. Don't have a flashlight. Come back. You can't catch me. Yay. Callum! Where did you go? She's right in front of oh, fuck. Blind ass woman. Swear to God. Callum! The Over here. Fuck. Okay. That sound. Uh, I'm. Let me go. Just put this out right now. Funcom can't make a horror game without jump scares. So it's probably gonna be jump scares. If there are any jump scares in this, I probably won't cover the whole thing. Just saying, because I have a really weak spot for that sort of shit. True horror games don't need jump scares whatsoever. So yeah, it was Christmas yesterday, so obviously this is uh, it's actually the 26th today, but whatever. Uh, got tickets for Star Wars, I'm going to see that. Keeping my mind off the horror here for some reason. I've already seen it, but uh, going in and watching it with my friend. Come back! like distortion. Fuck off, birds. I think this belongs to Calm. Oh, neat. You can actually do the same thing for... Fuck you. What does it say though? Can't see it. 
It's one of those fucking things. So that I just jump in my fucking face for no reason. And yes, go into the fucking bathroom. Yes, that's a fucking wise decision. Breathing much? What's this? Could I get some text for that? Can't fucking read that, Ed Ryan. Okay, if you guys can read that, then uh, go ahead and read it. Probably said something in the options or something about that, but I'll do that on the other machine, as I said, so. Won't be very far, it'll put 10 minutes this video and that will be about it maybe a little longer who knows where are you this way Fuck off, kid. A psycho. Actually, your mother is a fucking psycho because you're not even in here, are you? So it wants me to go in the boat? Fuck that shit. Callum, where did you go? Stop, Callum. Man, the distortion wants me to go in here. Really? Fuck that shit. Let's see what happens up here. Hello. Catch me, mommy. So I did go up here. In her head, that is. Here's the, uh, get in the van, I got, uh, another accident, this place. It's not an accident, you fucking idiot. Uh, it's a, uh, get in the van, I got candy, kind of thing. Fuck off. There's blood there, what the hell? Fuck no. So it was like one of those vans apparently. Blood on the windshield too. Oh, this is not even windshield, it's like the back of the seat. And on all the seats. Huh. Okay. It's funny because when I started Soma, I expected jump scares in that game. There was none. Or maybe this is the same thing, or maybe it isn't. I can't really say. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. I think it was divided into episodes, 
this game. I can't even remember, but holy crap. It's all alive. Now, if it wasn't just this creepy, then this place would probably be a nice place to be, but you know. <clears throat> now, see all this live shit in the dark? It's gonna make you comfortable, and when you get over there, it's gonna scare the living shit out of you. It's just how it is. Come back, Callum! Weird ass fucking park. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It used to make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. More pages? No. If you guys want to read this, then uh, go ahead. Uh, I'm not gonna ask to linger around. Some kind of murder or something. I'm guessing. I didn't read the entire thing, so. But considering what uh, she said, and what I read, then uh, don't hide from me, Callum. Come on this way. Oh yeah. Wait for mommy. This way. Okay, so you can investigate clues where it lies, like. Come out, sweetie. Over here. Hmm. So I'm gonna call it, uh, it's been like some kind of mass murder in this fucking park and now it's wanted. Yep, we ain't using those. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Wouldn't fucking surprise me if there's like a kill room. hides and thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip. And scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum is no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Yeah, she's a nut job. Nut job, woman! Holy crap, man. Don't expect anything from a child, you dip fuck, man. Oh my god. One of the many reasons I never get to have any children with just about anybody. <laughs> Women can't be trusted. Not creepy at all. Now I'm not saying all women are like that, of course, but... Because obviously they're not. Callum? This way, mommy. This way, mommy. Oh, 
fuck Constant yourself. Constant crashes in eighties music. I guess it floats someone's boat. A wrench. Can I pick that shit up? Give it to me. Callum, stay where you are. Come on, mommy. Oh, you're behind me now. It's definitely not here, man. Can I go in there? No. Find this odd woman, just saying. I remember driving in these, or not these, obviously, but in cars like this when uh, I was a kid. Fun stuff. Is that the one is on? Accident report. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. So this is a, there's been a string of accidents here, apparently, but. Hello, motherfucker. Okay, now you're on drugs, woman. Seriously, stop that. Where are you? Come on. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, god damn it, no. Fuck off, my dear. Crazy ass bitches. So I'm assuming she could lose her mind or something and then it's game over. Anyway, I think that's a good spot to stop this. It became already like more or less 30 minutes long. That was longer than intended. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button. And uh, when I continue this game, well, it will be on my other machine. So yeah, until then, stay awesome.